So just a brief overview of the various infections of the hand. Uh, the infections um, can originate in the various compartments of the hand, uh, depending upon the site of pinprick or injury uh, or uh, wound, wherever that occurs, would then determine where the infection uh, spreads. Now, in case of uh, a pinprick in any of these fingers, uh, it could result in tenosynovitis. Um, <clears throat> for the second, third, and fourth fingers, you have uh, the tenosynovitis of the digital synovial sheets. Um, but for the thumb and the little finger, uh, and the uh, infection, the tenosynovitis would mm, involve the whole of the radial bursa, and this would be involved. This would involve then the whole of the ulna bursa. Right. Um, this is the normal or usual arrangement of the radial and ulna bursa, and this is a common variation. So the radial and ulna bursa can also be connected to each other. Right. So uh, what happens is that uh, if the infection or the tenosynovitis is of uh, the, radial, uh, the radial or ulna bursa, uh, it can then uh, potentially spread to the space of perona proximally. Uh, the infection from these three um, digital synovial sheets from the proximal ends of these can then spread into the thenar space, <clears throat> from here into both the thenar and the mid-palmar space. And from this fourth digit, it can spread into the uh, mid palmar space. Uh, the mid palmar space and the thena space are uh, separated from each other, but uh, the mid palmar space is connected to the space of verona through the carpal tunnel, and uh, the spread of infection can occur by this route. An infection of the hand uh, usually uh, appears on uh, the dorsal side of the hand because uh, the skin there is much looser and not very uh, strongly adherent. Uh, as is the case in case of the palmar side, uh, where the palmar epineurosis is present. So, the bulge of uh, collection of pus is usually on the dorsal side. Uh, infection uh, can then uh, be treated by uh, antibiotics as well as drainage.